Hello, I'm Matt Ravenstroff from the UK. Today in this video, I'm going to show an update on the results of the BAR and show a case study. We do know there are lots of options for irreparable cuff tears. We have debridement, harsh repair. We can cut the biceps, do tendon transfers, and of course, there's the SCR. I'm also going to comment on the balloon, uh, but the one I'm going to talk about today is the bursal acromial reconstruction. Is SCR suitable for all patients? Well, we know it works well in the younger patient, uh, no arthritis, uh, a good cuff, a good functioning shoulder without any arthritis. But that's not every patient. So in the elderly patient with no arthritis, with a good compensated shoulder, we want to preserve the joint. And that's where we came up with the bursal acromion reconstruction. So it's a graft, a human demo allograft, which we fix to the underserved of the acromion, and then the humeral head bears on this, which stops the pain. It acts as a cushion in between the humeral head and the acromion. But Gus Mazarka's study actually showed it also helped to recenter the head, reduce some of the force on deltoid, and to more normalize a defective cuff shoulder. So my results for the BAR, my first case was in December 17. We have 78 cases in the series with MRI scans of three months and six months, average uh, male and female distribution, and average age, as we've mentioned, is the elder group, late 70s, early 80s. The biceps was absent in two thirds of the patients, meaning the benefit they received wasn't just because we cut the biceps. And on MR scanning, all the grass have healed. If you look at the visual analog score, these were painful shoulders, compensated shoulders, but painful with the average visual analog score pre-op of about eight and a half, going down to one and a half at a year. And that was maintained. So it's not a no pain, but it's a pain that people are, are very happy and very able to deal with. And the same for the Oxford shoulder score. We started off with a, a, a good score. So these patients were compensated. They had good function, but just pain. So the increase in the Oxford shoulder score was because of their pain relief. On the scans that we can see at three months, you can see a fluid line between the graft and the undersurface of the acromion. At six months, that's gone. So the graft heals. And this is a pretty typical patient. He's 83 years old. He plays golf uh, and it's his left shoulder I did. These are his MR scans. And he has now no pain, good function, and he's back playing golf. We also noticed on the MRI scans in about a year that the graft forms a meniscus. It, it, its form follows function, so it shapes to, and contours to the surface of the humeral head. Of course, we can't talk about results without talking about complications. I had one patient who felt something go. And it was one of my sutures or a knot that failed. Um, I trimmed that back and, and she was fine. I have had one uh, patient with acromial pain and that settled down. I've had no infections. Early on in my series, I used to resect the clavicle and the acromion, but in two patients, I had an acromial stress fracture. Now I don't do that. I just reset the lateral clavicle and I found I haven't had that complication anymore. So this is a case study uh, I mentioned. She's an 82 year old lady, a very keen marathon runner. She had a previous failed cuff repair. I did a balloon on her and she had initial pain relief, but then the pain came back and she wanted to now a more permanent uh, fix. So I did a bursal acromion reconstruction on her. At the time of doing the surgery, she was nine months post balloon. And I could see, as on the video, a lot of plastic debris still in the synovium. I did the BAR on her and she's done very well at three months and at six months and a year. And now three years, she's still doing very well. And importantly, she's still running. And this is her. It's a right shoulder. She has a good full range of movement with no pain and she's happy. So looking at my results and comparing my results of my BAR to my balloon. So I have more BARs, 78 versus 32 balloons. The Oxford shoulder score needs to be more than six to be significant. And it wasn't in the balloon, but it is in the BAR. Complication rates with only 5% in the BAR and a much smaller revision to reverse. So this is how it all fits in with my treatment algorithm of SCR uh, in the younger patient, BAR in that more elderly patient who I want to try and preserve the joint. And if we're not going to preserve the joints, then we still have the option, obviously, of a reverse. Thank you very much for watching this video.